Hello everyone, happy to see you here and in this video we are going to solve this interesting algebra problem. We have a really interesting exponential equation, 3 to the power m minus 2 to the power m equal to 65 and we need to find our m. Of course right here I write my solution to this problem. So first of all I write right here solution and we are going to solve this interesting algebra problem. Okay, first of all I rewrite this problem, so 3 to the power m minus 2 to the power m equal to 65. So here is our problem. What are we going to do? The first way is to use log, but right here we have like 3 to the m, 2 to the m, 65, we have a lot of this part with exponents, so it's not good to take log on both sides. So I suggest you to really uh, to use a really interesting trick right here. First of all, I write this 3 to the power m and I rate this 3 to the power m to the power 2 over 2, yeah? So this is the main trick right here. And minus, I do the same thing with this one, so 2 to the power m and I rate this to the power 2 to the power 2, to the 2 over 2, equal to 65, okay? So we just raise to the power 2 over 2, which is equal to 1, so nothing changed for us, yeah? So 2 to the power 2 over 2, 2 over 2, so nothing changed for us, this is equal to 1. But if you know a little bit about um, exponents, about rules of exponents, we can easily bring this one half from here, because we have 2 over 2, so we can easily bring one half inside these parentheses, so we can write it as 3 to the power m over 2 and raise to the second power minus 2 to the power m over 2 raise to the power second equal to 65 okay so i hope you i hope you understand this step so we just rate this as m over 2 why this is correct because if we, if we know a really interesting mass property so if we have a to the power b raised to the power c, we can write it as a to the power b times c. So we can write it as multiplication right here. And moreover, this 3 to the power m over 2 and raised to the power 2, we can write as 3 to the power m over 2 times 2, which is equal to 3 to the power m. So as you can see, the same as in the beginning. And the same we can check with 2 to the power m over 2 squared, yeah? If we raise this to the second power, this is 2 to the power m over 2 times 2 equal to 2 to the power m. So as you can see, the same elements in both cases. So we can easily write this substitution. I would say this is a really interesting substitution for us, okay? Okay, right now we have a little bit complicated uh, exponential part. We have 3 to the power m over 2, 2 to the power m over 2. It will be easier for us to make a substitution right here. So let so let 2 to the power, or let's start with 3 to the power m over 2, so 3 to the power m over 2, equal to, for example, in our case, let's equal to x, and in the same case, 2 to the power m over 2, equal to, equal to, for example, y, yeah? Okay, so we make a substitution right here, and we start work with this substitution. Okay. What do we need to do in our case? Let's try to express this 3 to the power m over 2 as x, so we will have like x square minus y square equal to 65. So I just add a little bit light to it here real quick. One second, one second, yeah, 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 I guess this is good, yeah? Okay, 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 yes, this is good. Okay, we have x square minus y square. This is our <coughs> identity formula, so we can we know this formula. This is a square minus b square, this is x square minus y square, so we can write it as, as x plus y times x minus y, x minus y, equal to 65, okay, okay. What we're going to do next? We have a product on the left-hand side. So this is some number, we don't know about it. This is another number. So this is multiplication of two numbers. This one in parentheses and this one in other parentheses. But right here we have 65, this is one number. It's like, I would say it's simply words, I just want you to understand. So two numbers right here, and we need to express this 65 as a product. So let's express this 65 as, let's try with five times 13, okay? Five times 13, let's start with this. So we will have x plus y times x minus y equal to 5 times 13. So we can express this as 5 times 13. And we have a really interesting moment because x plus y is bigger, is larger than x minus y. Because right here we have a sum of two numbers, right here we have a difference of two numbers. So we need to swap these two numbers, yeah? So we will have like x plus y, so x plus y times x minus y equal to 13 times 5, yeah? Okay, and right now, 
two numbers right here, two numbers right here, but right here we have a variables in parentheses, but doesn't matter, x plus y equal to 13, and x minus y equal to 5, should be equal to 5. So we will have like system of equations. So right here we will have like x plus y equal to 13, and x minus y equal to 5, okay? Okay, so system of equations, really simple system of equation. We all know how, how can we solve this question. So let's add both equations because then we can solve this y and we will have like 2x equal to 18 and x equal to 9. From here we find we find our x. And let's find our y real quick, doesn't matter in what equation, so let's try with this one. So y equal to 13 minus x. So y equal to 13 minus x, which is equal to 13 minus 9 and equal to equal to 4. So we find our, our variables. So right here our x equal to 9 and our y equal to equal to 4. And right now let's go back to our substitution. We had a substitution right here real quick and we can easily plug in these to our substitution. So x equal to 3 to the power m over 2, so 3 to the power m over 2 equal to 9. And on the right hand side we can write it as 2 to the power m over 2 equal to 4. So doesn't matter what equation we are going to solve, we will have the same answer. Let's try to solve this one on the left hand side. So 3 to the power m over 2 equal to 3 square from here m over 2 equal to 2 and from here m equal to equal to 4. And as you can see we solved this interesting problem but don't wanna don't skip this video. I'm going to show you a really interesting second method, okay? Really interesting second method. Real quick second method. Okay, second method right here. So we have 3 to the power m <coughs> minus 2 to the power m. Yeah, we have this expression. But on the right hand side we have 65. And how can we write this 65? We can write the 65 as, let's take a look, 3 to the power m minus 2 to the power m equal to 65. But let's write the 65 as 81 minus 16. Yeah? And this is really interesting moment because 3 is a really good a really good number for 81 and 2 is a really good number for 16 because we can write this one as 3 to the power m minus 2 to the m and right here 3 to the fourth and 2 is 2 to the fourth if we're talking about 16. So one and only case that this equation works is when m equal to 4 in both cases from this direction and from this direction. So m equal to equal to 4. But this this solution uh, in the beginning, this more are like algebraically solution. This is really great solution. A lot of tricks, a lot of power rules. So I suggested to solve this like that. Yeah. But if you don't have time, for example, you have an exam, so you can easily start to solve it in this way. This is a really interesting way as well. And of course, you can check your solution like that in this moment. But this is like more algebraically, this is really interesting case. Let's, so let's check our, our root. So we find, so right here we have check, check real quick. So we have like m equal to 4, okay? Let's check it real quick. 3 to the power m minus 2 to the power m equal to 65. As I told before, this is like the same thing as right here, because if we wanted to check, we need to 3 to the power 4, minus 2 to the power 4 equal to 65, which is absolutely correct because we had the thing right here, yeah? So 3 to the 4, 81, minus 16 equal to 65. And this is our solution to this problem. I'm going to write it right here. So answer, answer m equal to, equal to 4. This is our solution to this problem. But let's go back a little bit. Let's let's look to this solution once more. So this is one really interesting trick. So I, I, I suggest you to learn this. This is like the main important trick right here because we have an identity formula and we need to solve the system of equations. So three really important step right here. First of first, this is really important trick right here to, to swap these two with this one. So we can do this because of the rule of interchange. We can easily swap it. And of course, the next solution, I hope you understand identity formula. And don't forget to choose a correct parenthesis because this is bigger than this one. So x plus y cannot be equal to 5. Yeah. And this is one and only direction that this system can be solved. Yeah. So 
this is my solution to this problem. I hope you understand this explanation. But if you still have any question, write a question into the comment section. I try to help everyone. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day. If you want to support me, leave a like below the video. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your time and have a great day. See you in the next videos. Take care.